In this tutorial, we will teach you how to fix the bad system configuration info error, also known as the BSOD error 0x74. If you're running Windows 7, this error can occur if you have moved partitions or renamed them. Because of that, BCD will not be able to reflect the exact situation of the hard disk. Since BCD works as a replacement for the boot.ini file, and each system partition contains the data necessary for booting the system, a mix match occurs, and therefore an error is displayed on the screen while booting up. If you press F8 right at the beginning, you can go to the Advanced Booting Options menu. From here you will be required to choose the Safe Mode with Command Prompt option. If you cannot access the booting option and it still gives you the blue screen error, then the startup repair tool would open up once the system is rebooted and will start searching for problems. Over here you can see that startup repair didn't find the problem. If this is the screen you are getting, simply click on View Advanced Options below. Next you would be required to select the language and the keyboard input method. With that done, log in with your administrator account. Now let's open up the command prompt. First of all, we will view the BCD values. For that, we will use the BCD edit command. Over here, you will notice that there is a problem with two values, the truncate memory value and the numproc value. Numproc represents the number of processors present in your system. If the value is more or less than the actual number of processors, we would have to delete this value over here. To give you an example, if you're running a core i3 machine, you would have four processors, one physical and three extra cores. Due to this mismatch, the operating system will not load. Furthermore, the truncate memory value represents an upper bound on physical addresses, which are used by the operating system. A mismatch can occur when the physical memory is more than the actual range, and therefore the system won't boot or will give you the blue screen error. The only solution is to delete the mismatched values here, the truncate memory and the numproc value. For that, we will type BC edit space forward slash delete value space curly brackets open default curly brackets closed. This will restore it to the default value. Next, we will include the name of the value which we want to delete. With both the values restored to default, simply exit the command prompt and reboot the system. And you will notice here that the system has rebooted successfully and Windows is loaded without giving any errors. And that's it. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.